so crazy because when you start drop shipping you never think that you're gonna be the one like spending 10k on tiktok ads this is exactly the strategy that i used i don't know why people make it sound like something crazy because i literally did 94k in eight days with only tiktok hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys the exact tiktok ad strategy that i used to scale my brand new drop shipping store from literally zero to almost 100k in eight days all right now i did make a little presentation just because i think it's easier um because we'll go straight to the point and in this slide specifically just to give you guys a little contest behind the brand we're building if you guys have watched my last video you know that i'm scaling a brand new drop shipping store which is not really new anymore just because we have been working it for like the past couple of months in my last video i already talked about the brand and i give you guys a lot of value on what like i'm doing to actually make this a real brand and skill but in this video specifically i just want to show you guys the strategy tiktok strategy that i use because i literally did 94k in eight days with only tiktok not facebook all right now let's talk what metrics you should be looking at when you're actually scaling or even testing i see a lot of people making a huge mistake which is paper handing basically just turning campaigns off that are actually good and this is what you don't want to do because if you don't know how to look at your metrics and you don't know what you're doing you're never gonna scale in my opinion the only metrics you should be looking at are your cpa your ctr cpc roas and your ctr if you have no idea what i'm talking about that's okay it's just this little thing right here at the top bar right here um it just means that it's gonna tell you exactly what's going on with your campaign all right now before i show you guys my ads manager and everything i did to actually scale this brand i want to talk about viral ecom ads if you guys struggle to make good creatives or your creatives that you're using it's not converting at all you're not getting any sales you should definitely check them out because trust me i've been there i lost a bunch of money on tiktok ads which i'm gonna tell you guys in a little bit and what really changed that was basically just having really good creatives and that's why i trust viral ecom ads because they make good creatives that actually convert and they have a bunch of packages that you can customize based on your needs so if you're doing tiktok facebook you need huge see they literally have it all and the good news is that they actually gave me a 15 percent off discount link that you guys can use on your first order so make sure you guys take advantage of that to get your creatives and so you guys have an idea what i'm talking about let me show you guys one package that they have and that I actually recommend all right i always show this one because it is my favorite you're gonna get three ad variations for the product you're testing for only 50 dollars and if you're a vip member it's not even like 13 bucks and to make the process really easy you're just gonna place your order um submit a form which what you want your creative to look like that part is done then you're gonna receive your video and if you like it good you're good to go but if you want something changed or there was something that you didn't like you can just submit a form asking for a revision because they literally give you unlimited revisions which is really nice all right let me show you guys one example right here let's scroll down um let's see i i think i saw these ones let me see one that i didn't see let me the automatic cup washer is here to save the day effortlessly clean your cups with a simple push and spend look more at the time quality image guys drink. don't miss out check out the link now and make dishwashing a breeze so remember creatives are the key points to actually do well in your drop shipping business so make sure you're taking your time to actually make them good and investing in some good creatives and remember the link will be in the description for you guys to take advantage of that 50 percent off discount we're gonna look at the ads manager on the day that we actually scaled the most like i said we almost paid actually nine thousand dollars it was eight thousand seven hundred and sixty four dollars and twenty two cents which is crazy as you guys can see there's like a lot of campaigns like i said in my last video i was testing a bunch of things to see what was working and what wasn't and as you guys can see we had a really really good ROAS my breaking even ROAS was like at 1.5 so we have like ROAS campaigns that has a ROAS of 4, 3, 2 and don't worry I will tell you exactly what's inside the campaigns in a little bit just bear with me so as you guys can see there's an ABO ABOCC which just means it's literally an ABO but I'm using cost caps which just means that I'm bidding and I also scaled with some CBOs, which what was working in the beginning. But after a couple hours, the ABOs were doing better and then the bids were doing better. So that's why you see a lot of things, a lot of different things. It's just because I was testing. As you guys can see, what really worked was the cost cap at 30.33, which was what I used for most campaigns. So what I would do is basically just make an ABO campaign with like five ad sets, each one at a $100 um, budget and with a $30.33 bid. And you guys will see in a little bit that I use the surfing method, which just means that i bump the budget every time like every couple sales and like i said you only really need to look at a couple things like what you're spending it's good to know the returning investment you it's good to know figure out your break even row as you can literally just type on google 
Um, how do I find my ROAS, ROAS calculator? You will literally find a bunch. And you also want to look at your CPA because you're going to know exactly what you're paying for every sale. Now, the most important thing, if you're going to take something from this video, any value, please be this thing that I'm going to tell you guys right now, because I see that it's literally the problem that I see the most when you guys DM me. You guys paper hint a lot, guys. You don't even spend like $20 and you want to see like a $200 return. But trust me when I say, and I'm saying this because I have lost a lot of money, you spending 20 50 100 dollars it's not gonna get you to the 100k months so please let your campaign spend your pixel needs to get optimized in order for tiktok to actually find the right customers when you have a new pixel and you're testing a new product tiktok has no idea who to advertise your product to and who's actually gonna buy so you need to give tiktok a little bit of time a little bit of money spent so they actually know who to target and to who actually show your ads to that it's actually people that's gonna be interested and buy your product at the price that you're actually selling now let's move on to what actually matters and what you guys actually want to see which is the campaigns how i built them and everything i'm going to show you guys the campaigns that i used when i was testing this product and the one that i used when i was scaling as for the testing strategy remember this was the first day of testing this product i did two cbo's at a 50 dollars budget one ad group with three to five creatives one to two text lines and just wait a little bit because i'm going to show you guys exactly step by step on how to actually create this campaign in just a little bit and if you have no idea what the term cbo means it's just basically campaign budget optimization which just means that you control the budget of the ad group at the campaign level not the ad group level as whereas the abo is a little bit different and in the abo it's a little bit different because the amount of ad groups that you have is basically the amount of creatives you also have so if you have like three creatives you're gonna do three ad groups and in each ad group you're gonna just put one creative because you're testing which one actually works the best so in my example i had like three to five creatives that i was testing i believe it was actually five so i would have an abo with five ad groups and in each of those ad groups i would have a 25 dollar budget just to get that spending to see what creatives got the most clicks the ctr was high and that's all i did for testing it only took me like a couple days i think a day and a half because the product was working really well so i basically just scaled like in the next couple days as for scaling really really similar i think i just bumped the um, budget and I made more campaigns so I did five CBOs at a hundred dollar um, budget one ad group three creatives and one text line so instead of two CBOs I did five um, instead of fifty dollars I did a hundred dollar budget per ad set which was really just one and then from those five creatives that I was testing I took the best three and basically just added those to this campaign because that's the ones that was actually working and then same thing for the ABO instead of like five ad groups I did nine ad groups with one creative again Again, and then I bumped the budget to $50 per ad group and since we're doing an ABO you can literally do as much ad groups as you want I just did nine because it was a good number for me and it made sense for the amount of creatives that I was testing because I had three winning creatives so I would do like three ad groups with one creative then three with another one and then three with another one in total it was nine and like I said when I'm scaling I do the survey method which just means that I increase the budget every two to three sales or every one hour and one hour and a half and you shouldn't be scaling if you don't have a sale so please test your products the creatives before you actually start the surfing method all right now i want to show you guys exactly how you can create the campaigns both the cbo and the abo so when you do click on create campaign you're gonna pick website conversions you're gonna put the campaign name it doesn't really matter what you pick I just put CBO testing and then for as because we're doing a CBO which means just the campaign budget optimization you're just gonna put the $50 right here instead of in the ad group and that's all you have to do for the first um, page as for the second page you're gonna plug in your TikTok pixel from your Shopify store and for the optimization event I always do complete payment as for placement um, TikTok of course and then for targeting I just leave it broad literally blank I don't actually do anything as for the budget you're not gonna change anything because we already did on the campaign level um, and if you're gonna schedule for 6 a.m in the next day that's what i did and then for bidding and optimization always conversion all right right here right here on the next page you're gonna turn the smart creative ads on and then you're gonna put your whatever many creatives you have in this case i just put like random five creatives right here and then two text lines then you're gonna add your little url your website and then you're gonna publish the campaign and because we only have one ad group in the cbo you're all done that's your testing cbo all right now for the abo it's almost the same but there's just a little bit of things that are kind of different um where you're gonna pick website conversions again um your the name doesn't matter ABO testing and then right here you're not going to change anything because we're going to add the budget later on 
all right same thing right here you're gonna choose your tiktok pixel complete payment literally tiktok you're not gonna change anything on the targeting you're gonna leave it broad and this is where it changes a little bit for the abo you're gonna add your budget right here which is the 25 dollars like i said and then same thing for schedule you're gonna schedule for the next day at 6 a.m um optimization go always conversion now for the third page it does change a little bit too um you're not gonna turn this mark creative ads on and you're actually only gonna put one creative per ad group and like i said before the amount of creators that you have and that you're testing is the amount of ad groups that you're gonna have so that's what i did right here i have five um ad groups so i just basically when i published that campaign i mean not the campaign that ad group that we just talked about i would just click on copy right here and it would give me this option um you just put on the existing campaign which is the one that we just created the abo and you just put the amount of copies that you want so if i have like five creatives i'm gonna make four copies because i already had one so if i'm testing three creatives i'm gonna make two more copies if i have five i'm gonna make four copies and so on and that's all guys it's really simple to create your campaign there's literally no secret this is the testing but as for the serving basically the same thing like i said it just changes the budget but the structure is really the same so there's no reason for me to actually show you guys how i actually create that one too because it's the same yeah guys that's exactly the strategy that i use to literally make 22k in a day today i really hope you guys liked the video got some value and if you did again make sure you please like and subscribe comment down below what you think all right i'll see you guys in the next one